good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with part three of our logo lessons. Today, we're gonna add windows and doors. My friends, let's get cracking. Step one is to launch our program. Remember, you double click FMS logo. When it appears, click that file load option. And when you see your file, which mine was named 2B, you can open it. If you don't see your file, remember it was downloads and that's where we stored them. When you launch it, remember nothing appears on your screen, but if you click add all, you'll actually be able to see all the code that you've created. If you don't have all that code, that means you weren't finished with lesson two and you need to get finished right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, since you've got your old work loaded, uh, let's talk about where we are headed. Remember, we are gonna make an incredibly cool house. This is my house, so it's never as cool as yours because I don't put as much time into it. But we're going to go to start building these pieces. The first piece I'd like you to start building is your door. So now that you've seen my cool house, let's go back to how our houses look. I'm on clear screen. And our houses all look like this. Now you noticed I had a door here. And that is your next job is for you to draw a door. I am going to give you an idea. I'd like you to use a command called set X, which is the distance left or right the turtle goes. We don't have to put the X and the Y. I'm just putting the X. And I want to tell it to go 20 over and make my door. So that's just one way to move over. I could have also used our cool set headings that I'm showing you right here. And I stuck on each of your computers to say, oh, I want the turtle to set H 90 degrees to go make this door. Once you've got your turtle aimed where you want, then I would like you to use commands like forward 15, which I think is a good height for the door, to get him aimed, and then go back to your compass rows and say, oh, well now I need to change him so that he's aimed um, to set heading 90. And then if you do 15 for your sides, remember doors are skinnier than they are tall, so your next number should be like 10. And you need to get your door all the way to where it looks like this, by using those cool commands like set heading with the compass rows and your other cool commands. Now remember, I'm showing you this picture, but yours is on your screen. I hid all the commands because I'm not going to give you the answers because I think you can draw a cool rectangle by now. Once you've got that drawn on your screen so it looks all awesome, check to see if your neighbor needs a hand and then move on. All right, uh, make sure that you've actually finished your door so you know all those commands, but when you have, I would like you to hit file edit and we need to make a new word called door. Make sure that you type that after you hit edit and tell it OK. You'll see up here it says to door. Remember we press enter and then you use that like the slice of bread where you've got the top slice, the bottom slice and all the commands in the middle. Uh, I told you to use set X and go 20 over. You could have also done set X Y and told it 20 over and zero high. That is just more specific. They are both awesome. I'm flexible. And then we talked about doing forward 15 for the left side of the door. We did set heading and told it 90 degrees. And then we continued to make it. I'm not going to give you the rest of the answers. You should have figured that out on your own or you can figure it out by uh, looking back and, and trying it again. But I will remind you that for this command, I need you to do at the end, uh, pen up, home, pen down. So make sure you have that plus the special commands in the middle that you're going to have to figure out. When you're done, do file, save, and exit. So once you've created that code, this is our old one we drew by hand. Let's clear the screen quickly. And then when you type house, you'll see that our house draws beautifully. And now you get to test your door code by typing door and pressing enter. If your entire door shows up, that means you added all the amazing code to make the door. If it doesn't, you can click file edit and click on door. And when it opens, you'll notice that yours doesn't have all the commands mine has. I have grayed mine out so you can't see what they are, but at least that reminds you how to build it. Once you've changed it, you can come back. And don't forget, you can double click on clear screen, double click on house, and double click on door to make it all happen again. A big part of coding is working smarter instead of harder, so let's click File Edit. And now that our door code is beautiful, edit your house, and after the word Try, press Enter and type Door so that it automatically draws the door the next time you do it. Let's also put Pen Up, Home, Pen Down 
at the end of house because we always want to have that so the square starts where it's supposed to. When you're done, hit File, Save, and Exit. Once again, if you double click in the Commander window, you can reuse your old commands. So I just double clicked CS, and now I can double click any of the house commands, and it all draws at once. All right, friends, it's time to create something amazing. Let's clear the screen so our house is gone. Click File, Edit, and we're going to make a new word called SQ2. Make sure you type SQ2, and then on the very top line, I need you to put a space after the two, do a colon, and let's do a capital L. We're going to make a sweet new word with a variable that lets us change it every time we type it. On the second line, I need you to type repeat. And then I want you to put the number four because squares have four sides. So this command is going to repeat four times. And then in the bracket, we want to go forward and we're going to use that variable colon L. So if you check this out, it says repeat four forward colon L. And then we're going to use a right 90 to make it turn as it draws each side. When we're going to, done, we're going to put pen up, home, and pen down on the next line. Do save and exit, and then make sure you keep watching because there is a special way to use this. You need to type SQ2 and type a number after it. Check it out. That amazing little square is 5 on a side. We can immediately go SQ2 and try 10. You can do SQ215. You can continue to make awesome squares until you have something awesome on your screen. Right now the turtle's in my way, so let's quickly use hide turtle and make it look a little more cool. I'm going to skip to SQ225 to just give it an awesome little design. And that's what I want you to do right now is build an awesome design with at least 10 squares on your screen. I just did a left 90, and watch this. I'm going to do SQ235 and boom, it goes out to the other side. Lots of room for you to make something fantastic using these kind of skills. When you've got at least 10 amazing squares on your screen, turn on your call light so I can come over and check out the awesome creation you made. Before we go any further, quickly hit File Save so that way you're sure your SQ2 code is saved, and then you can move on. All right, these were fun, but now we're gonna actually use SQ2. Uh, I'm going to ask you to clear the screen, and I'm sorry these are going away because they are not stored as a word. Uh, SQ2 is a word, but whatever fun thing you make, made disappears. Uh, at this point, you've got a cool house with a door. Well, guess what? We are going to add a window. Uh, I would like you to start by doing File Edit, and we need to name it Win. We cannot name it Window. All right, and I'm going to tell you that the first command is pen up, and then I'm going to do file save and exit. Now back on the screen, I'm going to show you what a perfect window looks like. All right, I told you that the first command was pen up, so that means I lifted the pencil off the screen. And we'll call it a pencil, but it's a pen, whatever. And then I told it set X, Y, and I told it to go over. Well, this would be 25 because this is 50. So I said set X, Y. 25, 25, or something close to that. Maybe it was 15, 20, but you pick set XYs that move up, and then I said pen down, and what do you think I drew this square with? You guessed it, I drew it with SQ2. I said SQ210, and boom, you've got an awesome window. Practice using that pen up set XY command to draw your first window here on the screen. When you're happy, I would like you to then go back to your file edit uh, win. And I would like you to add the cool set XY and the numbers you used. I'm going to put in goofy numbers because I'm not going to give you the answer. And have your SQ2 to draw your beautiful window. When you've got that awesome window created and landing in your house, pat yourself on the back for being epic and then you may continue. All right, so if we've done this right, when we do CS and we type house, we've got our lovely house and door. Now when we type win, we've got a very cool window. When you're done with that, it's time to put window in house. So remember, we're going to do file edit, 
and I'm just going to edit house. That way I can't show you the secret ingredients for win. But once house is awesome, or once win is awesome for the first window, we do file, uh, we put win in house, and we do file save and exit, and it's good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just to prove it works, now if I do CS, and I do house, check it out, they both draw. But I'm going to tell you that we need two windows. So watch this. You simply do file edit. You go into your word win, and I'm going to actually show you the secret ingredients I used. I'm going to actually change mine, though, because I think 10 and 30 might look cooler. That's the beauty of this, is you can adjust it. To put a second window, you simply copy the first window, paste it, and instead of telling it to go 10 over, why don't we see what it looks like if we tell it to go 30 over? File, save, and exit. Clear screen. Are you ready for this? Click the word house and press enter and see what happens on your screen. Pause your movie and wait. All right, hopefully you've tried yours and it looks something like that. You can add more windows if you want, but use that skill to put squares on your screen throughout the rest of this project. Good job and show me when you're done. You may notice that my windows moved over after I showed you the video. That's because I used edit to go back and make them look perfect. I do not have a window down here. That was me teaching you how to make it. Your job is to find beautiful numbers so that yours looks as cool as that. When you have your windows perfect, you need to do file edit and you need to enter your house. And just like we made the door automatic, you need to make the win automatic as well whenever you type house. Hit your clear screen, hit your house. I'm gonna press enter this time, and look at that, it draws beautifully in one simple step. When you've got yours like that, friends, I need you to use that snipping tool, and I need you to use the new option, and grab me a screenshot that goes all the way from the house to the word house that you typed, so I can tell that you've actually got the commands. Save that to the disk with the blue button. Remember, I've got that downloads logo folder. This would be day three. I always leave the little word capture in front of it. Once you've got that screenshot taken and saved, it is time to turn it in. Remember, go to Google Classroom, find your classwork, click on the lesson, do view assignment. My favorite way to turn it in is to bring up the file explorer, go to downloads, find that logo folder, and you see capture day three right here. You can add the file by simply dragging and dropping. Once you hit upload, it'll go up there, and at that point you can hit that sweet little turn in button so that you've got all the credit you deserve for the awesome work you've done. Turn in and turn in. Wait patiently because you know it does take that extra second. Alrighty friends, if you found the video fun and useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question or a comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.